so guys for the first part of this build for, for this part to build these are the blocks we're going to be needing okay so you're going to need some stone bricks some light gray concrete some red never brick gray concrete white concrete smooth quartz slab jungle wood slab gray stained glass pane lime terracotta smooth sandstone black concrete and some gray stained glass okay and we're going to start where we finished off last episode which was when we did these this stone wall here and what we want to do is we want to extend it extra by four okay past the door you want one two three four okay just like this and that is the end of this hallway okay the next bit we want to do now is we want to get out our white concrete and you want to place going across this way you want to place one two three four five six seven eight nine ten white concrete blocks like that place red con red never brick on the last two rows and the first row if you look for the split in the middle of these two rows place never brick there as well okay connect it across the middle like that so you should have one gap of three, one a gap of three, two, okay? And then you want to fi fill up the rest now with grey concrete, just like that. And that is the width of your store as well, okay? Now we're going to work backwards. So going backwards, we're going to need to add one more row of this thing. But we instead, we're going to have white, light grey concrete on the end, and then three never brick on the top, like that. You're then going to place four rows of quartz slab going along the ground pillar of white, free white going up, that's one, two, three, yep, and then four more quartz, three light grey, okay, now going across the top, up to the light grey, you want to place never brick, okay, so only as far as the light grey like that, yep, and then you want to place stone bricks on top of all the light grey, up to there okay and that's what we want to have left and then you want to do the same thing with the jungle slabs again just like this and again like i keep saying there's one block that i always miss isn't there um, and what you want to do is grab out some brown concrete okay i want to, I want to use it don't i check where you grab concrete now so stop that would be brown um you want to fill up everything behind the back of this, just like that, and then you have this, okay? What you want to do next is you want to now work back this way, and how we're going to do this is we're going to build one of the first, the first room that you can go into, which I believe is squirrel specs, I think, something like that. And what you want to do is you actually want your grey back, so get your grey back, um, place one two three four five six gray leave a gap of one and then place one two three four gray and then on the end for the block first block we place place two lot white leave a gap of one place two white leave a gap of two place white go across by two and then connect down so you've got a doorway and then on the end place a white like that along the top you want to place lime terracotta and then in all the gaps that isn't the doorway, place grey stained glass pane. Okay? And we'll work a little bit more on that inside of that later, okay? The next thing you want to do is add one pillar of the stone bricks, but it's going to come out by one. Just like that. And then you want to make another one of these buildings, okay? But this one's going to be with this, so if you place one, two, three, four, five, six gap of one one two three four build it all up again so you want to place two white here two white here two white two white connect it across the middle and then two white at the back fill it all up with glass the only difference with this one is along the top instead of placing lime terracotta you're going to place your smooth sandstone and i think this is some airways it's airways something elephant airways i'm i'm not sure yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Right, anyway. Next, you want to place three rows of the stone brick coming out again. So it's one, two, three. Just like that. And as you'll see, we're starting to approach the end of this corridor now. 
And after this, you want to leave a gap in the ground of five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then on the next block, you want to place three more stone brick and light grey concrete, like that. And that'll take you to the end. As you'll see, this all connects together quite nicely. Now you can place one light grey here. Okay, so one row of light grey here. Um, and then go through the ground by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in your white. Place one row of light grey on the end. Connect the light grey across the top. Place that grey glass block in the middle of all of this and then fill it in behind it with light grey if you want you can have bookcases behind this it looks like they're stacked but I decided not to or just random colours um, next you want to place two rows of the stone brick yeah, I've got the stone brick on me two rows of the stone brick on this white wall like that leave, the next, leave this one open Place two more rows of the stone brick. Then in front of this blue, you want to place some black concrete, okay? Like that. And then that is your main store area completed. Um, we're now going to decorate it all. If you want, you can fill in the floor now, which is all birch. But I'm going to work my way backwards instead across there and do each area, fill in the floor. So I'll be back in a minute. So for this next section of the tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to work our way from the side that we started the wall on to the back side over here, okay? And how we're going to do this is we're going to place a row of birch along the back wall in the ground. So we're just going to dig up the entire back of the wall in with birch. And then we're going to come down to... I'm screenshot this great. Okay, we're gonna come down to about here and we're gonna fill that all in with birch. Let me see if I've got a better screenshot. One second. Um Yeah, so you wanna come down to here with birch, and then you wanna go across with birch, and then go back to the back of the wall like this with birch as well. You can fill in under there with birch. Then everything inside of that space there you can fill it in with red wool okay i didn't actually show the materials you're going to need did i let me just real quick so what you're going to need is birch planks spruce planks oak planks light grey carpet polished standard so polished blackstone button painting red wool smooth quartz slab grey wool white concrete grey stained glass light grey concrete black wool purple wool jungle wood slab okay so once you've grabbed all of them then you can begin this area and what you want to do is just dig out all of this Just like that, and I'm gonna fill it all in with your red wool. And in a minute, I'm gonna turn the recording volume down on the game because I think it's really, really, really loud when you're digging out grass. And once you've filled in all of that like that, um, I'm just gonna really quickly turn this down. Okay, so system stands my here it is. That that should be better now. Okay, and then all you want to do is now place an an andesite block here. So right next to the grey concrete, you want to place an andesite block, polished blackstone button on it, and a painting. So the same one we've used for everything at the moment. Um, a block, there's two blocks above it here. Okay. And that is the last TV, no, that's nearly the last TV we'll be placing. And what you want to do is on the second block here, you want to place two spruce going up. And the second to last block here, you want to place two spruce black blocks. Quartz on the um, half row up and then on the top row there like that. And that's going to create a shelf. Oak planks, you want to place one block away and one block in from both spruces like that. And then you want to place another spruce one block away here and then going back at what would like grey carpet on top so you should have this okay this is the entire area done already and we're now going to move on to this bit here so 
you're gonna gonna dump your red carpet and grab your grey wool instead. Okay, and what we want to do is go across with this by this with your birch, and you replace two rows of grey and back like this. A gap of one and in place grey going up to level with the red, okay? And that's going to extend back a lot further in a minute, but at the moment we're just going to leave it there. We're going to place a spruce, two spruce here, then place your four quartz going across, so that's one, two, three, three, four. Spruce on the end going up, and then quartz going across the top like that. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the next bit which is right here so then two blocks away in the same place you're going to place two free spruce coming up in literally the exact same places but this time you're going to fill it in with your white concrete so you're going to get your white concrete fill in everything in between it like that okay and then you're going to extend this gray wool back as far back as here so you can go right the way back not there, that's meant to be birch. Um, you can go all the way back. And then you can go underneath this. And then come round and I believe it goes round by one. I believe. It's going to go to there. And if it goes to there, I believe that's right. Let me just have a real quick look. It goes two rows. Two rows past the end of this. So, two rows like that. You're now going to grab some black wool, so get rid of painting and grab some black wool. And this black wool is going to extend from this. I believe it's going to extend from this corner here, these three rows here, all the way back to this one here, okay? I believe it's going to extend all the way back like that. Fill it in with black wool, just like that. So you should have that, okay, in front of the first building. Everything now around this, so just going around it by one row, you can fill in with your birch, and that is your second what I class as an area complete, okay? Um, fill it all in. We'll fill in behind the tills afterwards. Um, anyway, once you've done that, you should have this, okay? This is what we should have so far. Now we're going to move on to which is pretty much this area here. So in this area, you want to place another one of these stands, which is similar to that, but it's standing up this time, not in a wall. And one block away, you want to place seven white concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go back by one, so you put it like that. And then you want to get... Get rid of your blackstone button, grab some like grab some grey glass, place two rows on top on both sides, and then a row of light grey concrete on top of it all. So you should have that, okay? So that's gonna go right there. Next what you want to do is get you're gonna do another two of these. Which is going to be two rows away here. And you're going to place one, two, three, four. Go back by one. Leave a gap of three in the ground. One, two, three. Place two more rows. Like this. And then you're going to place grey glass on top of all of it, on top of them, two rows. And then you're going to place a row of light grey concrete on top of all of that. Okay? And then you're going to get some purple wool, like this, and then you're going to go in this little gap here, one row out, and you're going to extend all the way back to the end of these stands, which should be here, with your purple wool. Just like that. Everything now around this, whoops, everything now around this, and coming through here, can be filled in with birch. Because that is what I class as a second area now complete. So just do all of this and 
I don't feel as if that's correct because I don't think you come that close to the wall here. But I'm not sure. I didn't think you come that close to the wall on the real one. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Um, I don't think you come that close to the wall. But anyway, um, destroy all of this. Replace it all with birch. Just like that. And then you want to, once you've done this, we can move on to the f one, two, fourth area. Yep, and this is, I think there's five areas in total. So on this fourth area, you want to make another one of these small stands. But how we're going to do this is we're going to place purple carpet extending from one row out. So it's going to be here and you can place three rows and it's going to, wait a minute. This is two rows away. One minute, guys. This is two rows away. Ah, this build, this building here, this little stand here, it's gonna go one row away. I am so sorry, guys. So replace all of that building, all of this building, all, all of this stand. I can't speak. All of this stand here. Replace it with another, an extra row in front, and get rid of this last row. You're pretty much just shifting everything up by one like this and you can place some birch more more birch there place this it shouldn't take too long to do I mean, i've almost finished then knock off these back rows then just gotta knock off this back wall here replace this with birch all along here and then you want to place purple wall now going for these three rows, not them three, now it's going to go for these three they're going to go right up until you are one block away from the bit that sticks out, so the bit that sticks out that we built earlier which is right here you're going to leave it so it's one block away from that, okay and then in this you can place spruce on one block away from either side and that should leave you four in the middle which is how big the stands are one on the first block halfway up and then one on the top block half up on the top top row up I can't speak <laughs> um, and then the next bit we're gonna do is we're gonna leave a gap of one place some white concrete three blocks away I believe it's three blocks away from the doorway so you're literally gonna go from the door one two three and you're gonna place white and then go across by three. Place four. so it should actually line up with the quartz on the stand. And then place glass here. And then place two rows of that. And then light grey on top. And then we've got to do one more rug and then we can move on to the last area. So if we go from here, this one's gonna go from this corner here, it's gonna be three long again. And it's going to go two rows away from the wall, so it should only go up to here. Okay, and then after that, you can fill up everything around this in birch. Just like this. Like I said, this is quite complicated, so if you do get lost, put, feel free to pause the video. Go back, check it, to, um, pause it like when you've got a good view of it. I might give you like a really good overview in a minute of it all, so you can just like line it all up. Um, and yeah, once you've done all of this, gone around it all, we can move on to the last, which is quite a small area, not much in this area. Anyway, you want to place, so now what you want to do is two blocks away from the wall, which is going to be here, yeah, two, right here, we're going to place three rows of white concrete coming up, a light grey on top, and this is the only stand that's different from every other stand, because this is like one of these things, but standing, okay, it's not against the wall, and what you want to do is on the bottom block, place one, two, three, four, 
be at four light grey, I believe. Four quartz, I mean. And then three light, three of these and one of them. I think that's how it goes. I might have to double check that, but yeah, I believe that's how it goes. And then you want to connect across the top with light grey. And you want to make two more of these stands, which is going to be two blocks away. So right here, one, two, and then you're going to leave a gap of four. That's one, two, three, four, two here. And then you leave a gap of one and do it again. That's going to be right here. Place quartz to make the stands like this. And that should be a gap of two. Yeah, a gap of two there and a gap of one there. Yep. Yeah. And then you just got to connect this all together. Just like that, okay? The rest of this area now can be filled in with birch, wood, planks. Just like that. And then, we've just got to add a little bit more detail on that shelf, but I'll do that when I re-enter my inventory. And then that is your main store area done other than the roof, so... On the roof, however, there is these, like, t hanging TV things. I do not know how to add them, and I haven't bothered. If you want to try and find a way to add them, feel free. Um, I just couldn't find a way. Couldn't find what would fit and not look really, really chunky. Um, because you can't, you obviously can't hang paintings, can you? So it's quite annoying. Um, but you want to grab jungle slabs. Leave half a row gap. Leave half a row gap, so you have this, and here's your overview, if you want to see it, that is what it should look like, um, so it's, yeah, quite complicated, there's a lot of things, and now all we've got to do is, fill it up behind the tills and that, with your birch wood planks, so once you've, filled up all of the floor and birch of planks we can move on to one of the last areas on the store now which is going to be the corridor and the little room that pony pushes that um, shelf shelve into and then once you've done that you can move on to the two small rooms which don't take long at all a maximum of five minutes each and then the storage room and that's it so yeah guys that's what it will look like once you've done all of that and now what you want to do is you want to get diorite and sea lanterns okay and what you want to do is you want to so i got rid of my diorite and what you want to do is you want to fill up all of the roof in with diorite okay and we're going to add the sea lanterns because they're all kind of even like at one point it goes from four away and then one point it goes three away on each one so I'll show you how to make them but just fill up everything in the door in on the roof in diorite okay all of this air in the store and everything after this other than the storage room is all going to be diorite ceiling okay so once you have Fill up all of this. I'm actually going to do this off camera because there's a lot to fill up, so I'm going to be back in a minute. So what you want to do is you want to get your sea lantern, you want to come down to where above where the till area was that we did a little bit earlier, and you want to leave a gap of one from this hole that we have here, and then you want to line it up with this sea lantern, okay, and you want to go left by one, okay, and you want to dig that block out and do that. You want to leave a gap of four from here, one, two, three, four, and you want to dig it out and place one there. A gap of three, one, two, three, and then a gap of three, one, two, three. I actually only left a gap of two there, whoops. And a gap of three, and then a gap of three. So the last one should line up with the other sea lantern, okay? What you want to do then is from every one of these sea lanterns, you want to leave a gap of four going back, okay? So you should only be able to fit in two more sets of sea lanterns. So that's one, two, three, four. The one's going to go there. And one's going to go there. And then you see that you can only do four more. And you can't actually go any more. So now you can actually line them all up. Like here, here, and there. And then there, there, and there. Like that, okay? So that's what you should have at the moment. Going this way, you want to leave gaps of three until you hit the end. 
So you want to go one, two, three, like that, okay? And line them up with this set, this set as well. There will be a few sea lanterns, I believe, that are under a shelf, above a shelf, I mean, that you can't actually see. But that's all right, okay? And then from this side, you want to leave gaps of four, okay? So it's one, two, three, four. So one's going to go there. One's going to go there. One's going to go there. And then the last one should just be able to fit on the end like that. You're going to leave gaps of four going back again. So it's going to be one there, one there, one there, one there, and that's it, okay? So that's the lighting you should have in your store, and that should light it up perfectly fine so that you have enough lighting in your store. And as you'll see, it's actually coming together very, very nicely here. This light, this white glass, you actually want to extend backwards by one, so it's going to line, so it's going to be all the same width. Not this, uh, um, actually don't. Leave it like that. I'll, that's what I did in my original. Leave it like that, okay? Because on the other side, it'll look weird, okay? Next room we're going to move on to now is this room here. And I'll be back in a minute, and I'll show you how to build it. So everybody, the blocks you are going to be needing for this corridor and area here is going to be birch planks, smooth sandstone, yellow terracotta, light grey concrete, grey wool, polished andesite, item frame, weighted pressure plate heavy, white stained glass, painting, oakwood stairs, oakwood slabs, spruce stairs, spruce slab, polished diorite and sea lantern. Okay, so what we're going to do to start is we're going to get our light grey concrete and you're going to place one either side of this 5x5 five five, five exit here. And then you're going to go diagonally from it like this. And then what you want to do is on top of this side here, you want to place birch up by three again. And on this side here, you want to place yellow terracotta, okay? Just like that. It will not be a rounded wall, it's just so you don't have to place it in the corner as well. Um, on this side here, you want to have two more white, two more of these. Then you want to go one, then you go three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you're gonna go across by eight. And you're gonna fill it all up with birch. And then what you want to do is you want to place one going diagonally like this, and then going up by three. And then you want to get your. Actually, we'll come back to that in a little bit. But now you want to get your yellow terracotta out, and you want to come to this side. Okay. You want to go by two again like this. The reason why I'm counting like this is because there's some filing cabinets here, and that's how I'm counting them. So you want to go two here, and you want to go three, four, five. So you want to add another three on the end of that. That should leave you with three blocks. One minute, that should leave you with three blocks here. One, two. Get three blocks, so that's right. And then what you want to do is for this. Next part, you want to come to this side here, this side that we didn't finish. You want to go across the top by six, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. You want to place a light ground underneath the bottom and connect it down, like that. Place glass inside of this, only on them two sides, like that. And then you want to work your way backwards, but what you want to do is you want to place one of these and then yellow terracotta on top, okay? So that's where it's going to turn back into yellow terracotta again. This entire area can be filled up with sandstone, but do not fill it all up with sandstone. Only do around the outside in sandstone for the moment and under the door, both doors, okay? Just like this. And then under the, this, beneath this gap here, it's going to be birch wood planks. So you're just going to go around the outside like this. Birch planks here. And then grey carpet in between everything here, okay? And then you're gonna work and then we're gonna work on the corridor, then the little rooms, and the little rooms won't take long at all, like I said. But anyway, underneath the doorway you can also fill it in with sandstone, through cut sandstone actually. So you should have this shape like this. And what you want to do now is you want to work on the corridor, which we're going to do now. So, for the corridor, you want to come to this wall here, and you want to count by... One. So you want to have six here, so it's one, 
Oh, wait a minute, guys. I need to double check this. So, yeah, guys, what you want to do is you want to go across from this by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, okay? Yep, yellow terracotta all on top. And then this doorway should line up with that doorway. I could have just done it like that, couldn't I? But anyway, yeah. Um, so line up with the doorway. And then after that, you want to go by one. You want to go by another five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Um, and now what you want to do is you want to place... Six birch concrete. So this one's going to one, two, three, four, five, six. Then three rows of birch planks on top. And then you're going to leave a gap of one and place another six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then place three rows of birch on top. Like we've done for nearly every room now. I think we have actually, except from the garage. Not even the garage we did it, didn't we? Yeah, pretty much every room then. Um, oh, the only room we haven't done it in is that one there. That one was a little bit different. But anyway, after that, I'm getting off track now. After that, what you want to do is place... So after this three rows, you want to place three on the back, birch plank. And then you want to place one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah, so actually, you want to just take your birch planks all the way to the end here. Fill up this wall with birch plank. And then you want to do the same thing with the yellow terracotta and just connect it all across, okay? So it's not too hard. I don't know why I was counting it out, to be honest. Anyway, all yellow terracotta here. And then once you've done that, you can fill up either two sides here with sandstone, smooth cut sandstone, and then the one in the middle with your grey wool. But we're gonna grey, yeah, grey wool. But we're gonna change a little bit. So just get filling everything else with your sandstone, grey down the middle. Leave one block gap, obviously. Grey down the middle here. And then I believe you want to leave a one block gap from the end and a one block gap. Let's have a look at my screenshot here. A one block gap here, right in front of where I was standing. Okay, so you should have that. I'm not sure if they're even, I haven't actually checked. But anyway, what you want to do now is we're going to make some filing cabinets, okay? Now, one block away from this wall, there is a double filing cabinet here. And I make filing cabinets by placing andesite, item frames, and then iron pressure plates in them. You want to make one literally exactly opposite this, so like that. And then fill these up with them, and that you should have that, okay? On this wall, you want to place a filing cabinet one block away from the wall like this. And then you want to place the next one four blocks away, so it's going to be one, two, three, four. Place another double. And then you want to place a filing cabinet three blocks away on the terracotta that's going to be one, two, three and then this one wants to be three long okay so once you've done that fill that in with that as well and then you can get your oak oak um, stairs and oak slabs out and what you want to do is you want to leave a gap of two from here and then make an oak table like this and you grab your spruce stairs and spruce slabs and then on the very end you want to make a spruce table like that and then you want to get your painting and on these two blocks here first two terracottas after the birch you want to place the this painting here that's the last tv and once you've done that that is that corridor and this area completed well done guys what we're going to do now is get your diorite and your sea lanterns. We're going to roof it all off with diorite first, which this one shouldn't actually take too long, so I'll hang in there with you guys. But once you've filled in all of that, we can add the sea lanterns and move on to the last three rooms. And like I said, these last, these two rooms here, 
take no longer than five minutes each, so ten minutes in total. And then the final room is going to take a little bit longer because of the amount of blocks you have to place. But once you've done that, that's actually your store completed, guys. So I'm sure you're really looking forward to that part. And we're just going to fill the rest of this roof in just like that. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll have your big long corridor here, connect, and that'll soon connect up all of the store together. And where you're going to place the lights, okay? So lights you're going to place. Get on my screenshots. So lights you're gonna place two. I don't know. I'm gonna do this. Um, um, right. Okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna come. So if we go inside, there we go. If you come two blocks in a diagonal, so that'll be one. This will be two. I believe that's how we're gonna do it. Or is it from this corner one block? It might be from this corner one block. If I can see it, that means so much better. I think this is where that goes. I think that's where that one went. So I believe that's two. So yeah, you want to go from there. So you want to literally two blocks diagonally from the very corner. So this is a corner here. One, second one in. I'll place C lantern, okay? You can do the same thing from this corner, so this will be the very corner. One, and here, one, like that. Okay, so they should all line up quite nicely. And then you want to leave gaps of four in between each C lantern going along here. So gap of four, gap of four, gap of four, gap of four. Then you should have one perfectly on the end, like that. And then you could, we're going to make these rooms. And this area now is pretty well lit up nice and bright and we're going to move on to these last two rooms and I'm going to find out how to make them and I'll be back in a minute. So then everybody to make this what you're going to need is these aren't going to take very long so what you're going to need is some oak planks, birch planks, light grey concrete, light grey carpet, spruce stairs, grey wall, spruce slab, polished andesite, birch button, di polished diorite, sea lantern, chain, blue banner, light blue banner, black banner and lime banner. That is for both rooms okay. So what we're going to do first is on this back wall Right against this, we're going to place a row of light grey, right against this, and in three rows, the birch on top of it, like that, okay? Then you're going to do the same thing here, so you're going to get light grey, but this is going to be on top, that's going to be in front of the very end block where the white concrete meets, and it's going to be this room here, so if you look at that, that's what it's going to look like. On this end here, you want to place three rows of grey wool in the floor just like this and then the rest of it now is going to be oak wood floor okay so just fill in the rest of this with oak wood just like this There's not much detail at all in this room, so what we're going to do is punch a hole in that block there, fill it in with oak, place two sets of oak wood, oak planks on top with light grey carpet on top, a spruce stair here, one block gap off this one, place another one of these, and then on this back wall now, we're going to place another one of these oak wood tables here. A spruce wood bench here with an oak wood table here and then an and, and then a andesite with a birch button on top and that is this room 100% complete we're going to come back and do the roof in a minute but on this room here we're going to swap out now we're not going to swap out anything this room has lime terracotta oh, I actually forgot that this room has lime terracotta walls okay so grab lime terracotta as well on the bottom we're going to place light grey concrete miss out the crouch spot again obviously place lime terracotta on the wall and the same thing on this side now we're going to do it on the white end white block which is here and in three rows of lime terracotta just like that so you should have this so you should have two evenly shaped rooms and you're going to do the exact same thing here you're going to place grey wall 
on the first three rows, which is one, two, three, like that, okay? You also want to do under the crouch but on this side in grey wall, which is like that, okay? And then the rest, once again, is going to be oak. And this room's a little bit more complicated than the other one because there's a little bit more to place. But again, it's not complicated. It's going to take, literally, that room took about two minutes, two and a half minutes at the most. There's actually less time than I actually thought it would. Anyway, dig out all of that, replace it with the oak. And then what you want to do is on this back wall here, you want to place oak, two oak, another one of these oak with tables here. Leave a gap and place one more in front of it. Place spruce wood stairs here and there, like that. Then you want to place oak, another oak with table there, like that. And then you want to grab yourself the other items that we've got over in our inventory. So you can chuck away all of these now, we've used them all up. There's, there's no use in any of them anymore. And what you want to do now is you want to grab out your polished diorite, sea lantern, chain, blue banner, light blue banner, black banner, lime banner, and that's it, okay? So now you want to place chain, two chain, here, right next to this table, and you want to put lime banner, lime banners, around it. This is going to be one of them standing glass things, not globes. And then you want to place, on this wall here, you want to place a light blue in the corner there, on top of the table, with a black banner next to it, and then a lime in the corner like that, okay? You want to place two limes on the back that's standing, so two limes like that. And then you want to place blue, a blue one now, another chain one here. It is one block away from the table on the first oak, and then you'll place four blue all the way around the outside, just like that, okay? That is what you should have for this room, and that's actually 100% completed. And you're, we're doing really well, guys, actually. Um, we have one more room left to go now, guys. Yay, I guess. Um, we are doing fantastic. Um, I'm not sure how long this tutorial has been going on for now. I'll only find out when I edit it. Um, I didn't expect the other one to actually be a little more than an hour. I thought it was only about 50 minutes, but it was. And I was a little bit shocked by how much I ramble on about useless stuff like I am now. Um, but anyway, f fill in the ceiling with diorite, polished diorite, and then we're going to place some ceiling lamps. So the ceiling lamps are going to be situated, so I'm going to have to get my screenshot up again, sorry about this guys. Um, they're going to be situated so that you have one block gap from the in inside, yeah? You're going to leave a two block gap, and a two block gap again, leaving a two block gap on the end. You want to do the exact same thing here, so it's one block gap, two block gap, two block gap, so you should have that. And that will light up these rooms really nicely, and if we go into them, you should have this, and that looks really nice. And it kind of looks like it's got the high graphics in Piggy as well, which is really, really, really good. Um, and we're going to move on to the last room now, which is by far a very, very annoying one with the walls and everything, but I'll be back in a minute. So guys, the blocks we're going to be needing for this are going to be light, lime concrete, lime concrete powder, lime terracotta, Sign terracotta, light grey concrete, white concrete, light blue concrete, magenta concrete, red concrete, white terracotta, red terracotta, lantern, stone bricks, strip spruce wood, andesite stairs, andesite slab, and sea lantern. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get your lime concrete and you want to place three going past the glass like this. And you want to go up by three, so that's one, two, three, and you want to go above the glass by one like that. You then... You've kind of got to place this glass, okay? So what you've got to do, you've got to dump this, and then you've got to get glass. And then you've got to fill that in like that, because what you've got to do now is you are going to have to place... So you want, you want white glass as well, so you are going to have to place concrete powder on top of that, like that. And you have to place four more rows of lights, so it's one, two, three, four. Just like that, okay? You should have four rows of light, um, lime concrete, four rows of lime concrete powder, four rows of lime concrete. No, yeah, four rows, including the glass. 
Underneath the window, you want to place light grey concrete, two rows, like this. What we're actually going to do now is we're going to work our way backwards. So it's going to be now five rows of lime concrete powder. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to place five rows of lime terracotta. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then five rows of lime concrete powder. One, two, three, four, five. And you want to copy this onto the other side over here. So you want to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like that okay, and then you want to place four rows of lime on the back with one, two, three, four. Four rows here, one, two, three, four, and then four more rows here. So you should have this like this, okay? It should look like this, which is really good. And now what you want to do is on the side you want to extend them up so they go by three. So it's gonna be two, three, like this, okay? Only on the two left and right sides. And then what you want to do is place an entire row of cyan terracotta on top of all of that. And you want to keep repeating that, okay? Which is going to take quite a while. Trust me, I'm going to do it off camera because it takes a little bit of time to get it all good. And you're going to place sign terracotta along the top. And yeah, you want to do that three times. So there should be three bars of sign terracotta. And I'm going to do that off camera. I'll see you guys in a minute. So once you finish it, it will look something like this. And what you want to do now is you want to place one more row of the corresponding colour on top of all of this. It's just one more row on top of the cyan like that on both sides and once you've done that you can then go up to the same height with all of these things and this is also going to take quite a while so I'll, I'll also do this off camera it's going to go up to there you pretty much got to do actually I'll, I'll stay on camera and do this we'll just have a little talk so these tutorials, it's not going to be anything on the channel anymore. Don't think that because I've started these tutorials, I'm going to stop everything else because I'm not. Um, I will be doing all the piggy tutorials, all the piggy maps eventually. So I'll do I'll do what we've got at the moment. So I'll do the refinery after this one, hopefully, and then after I've done the refinery, I'll start uploading some of the new ones, some of the old ones. I mean. And th they'll be in any random order. They could literally be. It could be distorted memory, the one that I do first, or it could be outpost or something like that. Um, it's not going to start with the house because I haven't actually done the house yet on my own. Um, so yeah, it'll be in a random order. It should be the ones that I pick out. If you want, I can do a vote, see what ones you want to see first. But when a new chapter comes out, I'll do that one, and then I'll continue with the old ones again until I've done them all, and then. Once Piggy's over, I'll move back to my proper videos all the time. I'll still do proper videos in between. And yeah, um, I'm kind of really excited to see this series grow in that, hopefully. And I do hope you enjoy building these tutorials because I, I really do. I, I love just coming on and building these gut things for you because they're so fun. They're so, like puzzling to build and then you once you've done it you can look just look back and think wow I've done all of that and it's so nice and anyway once you've done that you can now split this up so on the back row you want to place one white terracotta okay so one white concrete I mean one row of white concrete then you'll place three rows of light grey okay then you'll place three rows of white three rows of light grey three rows of white and then three rows of light grey on the end, including the doorway. So you should have this, and then you're going to fill in all of this in the floor. I'm also going to do oh great, wasn't too bad hope, at least. Um, and then we're just going to do all of this, fill it all in with the colours, and then we can actually move on to the proper building, and then roof roof will do at the end. There's a couple of blocks I've actually forgotten and I'm literally just thinking of them going around in my head right now. And we're going to need to grab them, so I'll do that after this. Um, fill in all the floor. We're almost done now, just three more rows. And 
and then Z, and we've got this. Go down, and then we've got this one here. Okay, so once you've got that, that is going to be the floor into this container room. Cyan terracotta is going to go, so two blocks above, and you're going to have cyan terracotta, and you now want to place these two, two rows of cyan terracotta, two blocks above the glass on the front, going around the entire top, like this, and around the outside. Two rows all the way around it. And then you should be left with two center blocks, three center blocks I mean, right here. You can fill them all up with cyan. So locate them, fill them up with cyan. And that's going to be the space for your containers, okay? And now what you want to do is you want to work out. So you want on this side, if you look at the door, locate the door. And then on this side from the door, so on the right to the on the right side of the door, you want to leave a gap of free from the cyan, and then you want to knock out a few blocks up until here. So until you hit the second block here, you want to do that, and you want to do the same on this side, but on the opposite side. So it's free here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you should have this. The other blocks I want you to grab now is going to be and this like polished and this like stairs like this. And you also want to grab some iron bars and some end rods, okay? So once you've grabbed all of them, we can work on the next bit, so grab all of them, put them here. Have got more? No, and it's right. There we go, right. And then once you've done that, we're going to put the stairs here, so from on this side it's going to work back this way it's just going to work all the way down until you hit the ground which is there same on this side here, so you want to go here to here, to here, to here, to here, and to here okay, so you have this and now what you want to do is in the middle here and I think it's two blocks in so on the second block in and in the middle you want to put iron bars Going there to there, and the second block upwards, you want to place end rods facing down like that. That's going to be a little bit lighting, it's kind of like what's on the real one. And you want to go through, you're going to go right up to the top with your iron bars. You have to extend one block above, I think it is, it's one or two blocks above, but we'll work it out when we get there. Anyway, once you've done all of that, I think it's two blocks. On the third block up then, which is this one here, you want to place end rods there and there, just like that. And then you want to place your containers. Now containers are going to go, on this side is going to be blue, so I'm going to chuck away all my materials. And what the colours you want is going to be blue, in this order, blue, white, magenta, red concrete white terracotta, red terracotta, okay? Now on this first one you want to place blue ter light blue terracotta and it's going to go from this corner in by one, so it's going to line up with both sides of this and then you're going to go backwards by two across like this and you're going to go up so that they're all four blocks high, okay? So each container should be four blocks high, so that's three and you want to go one more row, that's four here like this, and the next one you want to place is going to be white concrete, that's going to be one, two, three, four, like this. It should brush, it should go right along this side here. Um, I didn't know how to add like the barrier around the outside, so I've just left it open. Um, you just might have to place some barrier blocks instead, so you can't get across. And then after that, you want to place some magenta, that's one, two, three. Four, and then you want to place magenta going all the way up to the top, and that will be the top. Then you can leave the top open, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Once you've done that, you want to do the exact same thing on the other side and with the opposite colors. So this one's going to be red here. Red's going to be the first container. Two, 
three, four. We fill it all up. And then the next color container is going to be white terracotta. One, two, three, four. White terracotta going all the way up here. Then you'll place red terracotta all the way up to the top. That's one, two, three, and then four. Okay. And that is your containers done. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your. So the last thing we're going to do with containers now is you're going to grab sea lanterns, andesite stairs, andesite slab, lanterns. Okay. What we're going to do is on both of these sides here. So on each opposite corner, it's away from the stairs, you're going to place a table, okay? So that's going to be here and here. You'll be able to work it out, I'll show you in a minute. So that's just, this is the side of the door, and that's what you want to have, okay? In the top of the containers, you can place sea lanterns. That's just to light up the room just a little bit more. And then, last but not least, you can place some lanterns in, on one block away in the corner here. Like this, like this. And then like that. And then like that. Okay, and now all we have to do is the roof. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So what you want to do is you want to grab your stone bricks and your stripped spruce wood. And what you want to do is you want to place like in the top and upper diagonally into the container. You want to place stone bricks and you want to place one stone brick row. And you want to place a spruce wood, spruce, stripped spruce wood row. And then you'll place another stone brick row, like that. And then you want to place a stone brick row going up a diagonally from that, just like this. And then you want to place a shipped spruce row going next to it, like this. You want to place two rows of stone brick going up to here, and then you want to copy that on the, this side as well. So you want to do stone brick here, one row of stone brick, and then you put spruce wood here, and you want to put stone brick here, and you want to go up a diagonally, place stone brick. And then lastly, you want to place your strip spruce wood going here. And now what you want to do is you want to grab your lime concrete powder and your lime concrete. And what you want to do is just patch up these sides of the walls with some lime concrete and lime concrete powder. Just like that and once you have done that you will have your full store complete if we want to have a look into the garage that we have to go right through the greenhouse this is the only entrance in now without breaking any blocks is through the greenhouse so once you come in and you can go through your main area of the store now you will have your store completed and if we come in here look at this we have this entire area all filled up it's all completed all you've got to do now is one last tiny tiny little bit and that is just to grab your iron bars and to just connect to the roof and i think i might place the iron bars in the wrong place um i don't think they connect like that before but yeah we'll leave them there they're, they're, they're fine there yeah um, wait a minute. If, they were, if they went there and there that would make more sense okay so move your iron bars across by one more okay so move your iron bars Cross by one, same goes for your end rods, move them also across by one, and then what you want to do is get rid of this side, And you've got to move it across here as well. So you want to just grab your iron bars, 
move them across here delete these ones and then move them across here come on like that delete these I'm going to try not to delete the end rod this time grab the end rod and then we can just put that one back in put that one back in and that's the store 100% fully completed guys um great job this was a very very long build i guess and you guys have done an awesome job at actually one minute we have two more benches left and there's one here you know one block away from the wall you're gonna place a bench here and then one block away from the wall here as well i really almost forgot about them but yeah you want to do that grab your andesite slabs anyway guys great job on completing this this was a very very long build and you've actually completed it so why don't we have a look through it and yeah you're 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 done guys so this is what your store will look like once it's been 100 percent fully completed and i really 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 like this build this is the main garage area that we built first and yeah this seems like years ago now and if we move on into the teal area through here and we have this is like one of the easiest rooms I think by far and then we have the main store area which looks very 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 nice a lot of detail in here if we come through into the mini cafe with the purple safe here looks very 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 nice and we have this little connection room here as well if we come through into the greenhouse one of the only rooms with no lights in I think um, and this looks nice and bright it has a nice glass ceiling and everything and yes if we come through into here where we have the black safe with the yellow key inside of it and then if we come into here with the specs the specs room I can't remember what it is and then we have a this corridor long corridor down here and we have this room here with the yellow safe in it if we come through here we have this tiny area here and we have the big storage room that belongs at the back of the store here yeah, I can get that more words out then and yeah I think you guys have done an awesome job on completing this um good job everyone if you did enjoy the video uh, I can't remember that word minute if you if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like subscribe and, and hit that notification bell to never miss another video and yeah um again guys good job this is a very long build it's probably been really hard for you guys as well and i'll see you guys next time goodbye